I'll start by cutting off all the pieces of the top part of my jumpsuit. For my straps, I'll be cutting two strips of 15 by 5 inch pieces of fabric. I'll then fold each of the pieces right side facing right side, pin it and then sew. For the bodies, I'm going to be pinning my center front and my side front as well as my center back and my side back. But before I go ahead and sew, I'm going to iron hastily on each of the bodies pieces. I'm doing this because I want to stabilize my fabric as I've noticed that it's a bit light. For my trouser, I'm going to be cutting out my pattern, making sure that I leave sewing allowances on the crotch line, the waistline, as well as the inseam. For the side seam, I have already cut out the sewing allowances, so I don't need to do that. I'll also pin my dart head so that I know where my dart is going to be. I'm going to start by sewing my straps with my 0.5 inch allowance.
this is what my bodice looks like and my straps i'm going to measure the top part of the bodice so that i can use that measurement to cut out my flare and this is the formula that i will use for my circle circumference However, my fabric wasn't much for the entire circle, so I just used what I had to cut out my flare. Now for my trouser part, I'm going to start with transferring my darts to the fabric and then for the center front, I'm also going to sew that with a 0.5 inch allowance. So my center front is sewn, my darts have been sewn. The next thing is to sew the side seams as I've already sewn the darts on my back pieces so i'll sew my side seams with my zero with my one inch sewing allowance My side seams have been sewn. I'm going to now sew my center back and I'll do that leaving an 8 inch opening for my zip. The next thing I'm going to do after sewing my center back is to sew my inseam with a 0.5 inch allowance as well. I've sewn my inseam and I've pinned my trouser hem so it's to sew the hem and then attach the bodice to my trouser. I've sewn my bodice to my trousers. The next thing I'm going to do is to pin my straps and the flare that I'm going to be attaching to the top of my jumpsuit. So I've pinned the flare to the top part as well as my straps and this is what it's going to look like after I sew it. I'm going to understitch at the neckline so that I can have a nice smooth finish. So I have my understitch done. Next is to insert my zip which I'll be doing with the invisible zip technique. Finally my zip is done which is the last thing that I needed to do. So my jumpsuit is ready and this is what it looks like. 